All right, in this video, we're gonna be testing the knot strength of the Palomar knot versus the Uni knot for braid line. And so uh, when doing this test before, I, I really just don't like the Palomar knot for braid. It's just, it doesn't seem to hold up nearly as, as, as efficiently as, as Uni because braid just needs more surface area. And so just wanted to be able to quantify the difference. And so we have this nice uh, knot, uh, or at least a, a, a strength tester. And so what we have here is we just have the knot. So I'm going to tie, um, this is the Palomar up top, and I, I did the, the uni down below just because it's easier to tie on this, on this swivel that's staying there. So this should be the weakest point, and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to repeat the test, and I'm going to have both of them be the uni. This is going to be the modified uni for braid, and I'll, I'll have links down for exactly how to, how to tie it. And, uh, and we're going to be able to see the difference. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to zero out the scale. Let's go ahead and start cranking it up. And, uh, and so again, this is the Palomar. This is the original Palomar. We're starting to get some tension on it. And this is 10 pound Power Pro V2, just so you know the type of line that we have. So let's see what the breaking string is. So 18 pounds, that's impressive, right? So this 10 pound line and we have 18 pound breaking string. So the Palomar knot proved to be a good knot, it's still a good knot. I'm, not, I'm definitely not saying that it's a bad knot. And we look where it broke, right? It broke right at the knot, um, right where it pretty much always breaks. And this is right at the Palomar knot, the uni knot stayed intact. So we're going to go ahead and do both unis and then we'll see what the, uh, what the breaking strength is. All right, so now for the uni knot. And again, this is the uni knot that is a little bit different for braid. I'll put a link down below, but basically go through the hook twice and then do seven wraps, do more than five, which is the typical recommendation. So we're going to go ahead and get started. It's zeroed out now. We have some tension going. Should start seeing a reading. All right, cool. And now let's go ahead and see what the breaking strength is. So if it beats, I think it was 18.3, that's what we need to break, and 20. So 20.3 basically. So that's an extra two pounds of difference. We're gonna go ahead and, and do it one more time just to make sure that there wasn't some sort of anomaly with the, uh, with the test, but that's a pretty good difference. And we'll do the math at the end so that you know the exact percent difference that you can go, that you can achieve if you go from one knot to the other. All right, so now round two for the Palomar. We're gonna see what it is, scale to zeroed out. We're now starting to get some tension. And 18, it was a little over 18 pounds last time. Let's see what we have, so 19 pounds. So right in the same range, it just, usually it's, it's normal to have, you know, around a, a half pound to maybe even a pound uh, difference just on, the, on how it cinches down. But so 19, and I will do one more with the, the, uh, the uni, and we'll know for sure what the difference is. All right, so final test, at least hopefully the final test, as long as it still is better than the, the other two um, from the Palomar, we now have the uni knot. So we're gonna go ahead, we have it zeroed out, have some tension just starting. And again, if this is 20 or over, then it's gonna be a complete test. Um, that way, again, both in both cases, this is, yeah, so still over 20. So both tests of the uni knot proved to be over 20 pounds. And then both tests of the Palomar proved to be under 20 pounds by, by, at least, uh, by at least a pound. All right, so that's gonna complete the test and I have the tabulation. And so the Palomar knot averaged 18.71 pounds, which again, which is awesome. I'm not knocking the Palomar knot at all. That's 18.71 pounds on a 10 pound braid is good. So it's a, it's a good knot. Uh, however, the uni knot averaged 20.21 pounds. And so the difference was uh, was 1.5 pounds. So simply by going from one knot to another, you're gonna be able to increase your pulling strength by 1.5 pounds, and that is 8%. So again, just knot from knot, a, a good knot is a good knot, right? It's not gonna pull, it's not gonna slip, but, but different knots have different breaking strengths, and that's one thing that I never thought for many years. So just wanted to make this video to highlight the fact that even though the knot doesn't pull out, right? In, in no case did those knots actually pull out, they actually broke, but different knots have different breaking strengths. And so it's, it's on us to make sure that we have the knot with the best breaking strength, right? In this case, it's gonna be the uni knot over the Palomar for a braid. And if you wanna see the, the, other, uh, the other knots, we've tested out all the popular knots and we have a listing on, a, on our website of, of which knot is best for the different line types and the different connection needs. And if you wanna see that, go to saltstrong.com forward slash knots. You'll see the full listing. There's no opt-in required, it's free of charge. We just wanna make sure that, that you are just maximizing your, your line strength so that when you do hook up 
with the fish of a lifetime, it's not going to be lost due to something that, that we have control over, right? We have 100% control of our knots, so it's on us to make sure that we're using the best ones out there for every situation. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a question down below if you have any. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today